When Kendrick finished his letter to Obrador, he could hardly call what he just written a, a technical report, <clears throat> he then eyed the FBI file. So, who, who was this guy at the head of this pack of libertarian anarchists? Who the hell were these people? He wondered. What had driven them to become so fanatical and destructive? So, Kendrick starts reading the report. It's in quotation marks. This is the FBI report. A small group uh, from within the Los Angeles chapter of the Sovereign Citizens has been under 24-hour surveillance since immediately after the midterm elections of 2018. The leader of this group, as well as the entire organization in Los Angeles, is Bradley Brad Resnick, uh, 48, and Caucasian. These four men, uh, w wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, these four men met uh, formally with the large remainder of the Los Angeles chapter of the Sovereign Citizens once each week on Saturday night at a warehouse along 8th Street in the wholesale business quarter of L.A. We have amassed over nearly 1,000 hours of audio recordings of Mr. Resnick's speeches and Michael, uh, 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 as well as his remarks among the other three in question. Meryl Foster, Richard Drummond, and Michael Ross. These four men comprise the organization's inner coordinating clique. These men in various settings have recently discussed uh, in at least eight separate occasions the details of setting timed explosive devices within the interior of the electrolysis plant currently under construction seven miles outside of Eureka, California. Known as the uh, Eureka Project, its chief engineer is uh, Joseph Kendrick, both a civil and industrial engineer. He was born at uh, Gritman Memorial Hospital in Moscow, Idaho, and uh, was raised in Pullman, Washington by uh, a single mother who worked as a legal secretary at the firm of Neil Aiken and Schauble. During his senior year of high school, he exhibited rebellious behavior during the spring of 1970, on one occasion, he hitchhiked to Spokane and remained absent from his home for nearly 48 hours. In the summer of 1970, he worked at the USDA Soil Conservation Lab, five miles out of Pullman towards Albion. He was ticketed by a police officer in the Pullman uh, during a quiet Sunday early in the afternoon in late July for running uh, not one but three red lights. <clears throat> Another 18-year-old uh, male was also with him in his Datsun Fair Lady sports car, which uh, one year later was demolished from a collision with a freight train next to a, the, a trailer park just outside of Pullman, uh, shortly after Kendrick <laughs> had driven a, uh, onto the train tracks. His driving abilities having been impaired by marijuana consumption. The police officer mentioned in his report that the subject was in all likelihood under the influence of marijuana and when he ran uh, the three red lights along the street running past Pullman's old post office building. Known to his friends and acquaintances as a serious, dedicated student and an Olympic weightlifting enthusiast, uh, Kendrick uh, went uh, to the gym at the WSU Fieldhouse three times a week throughout his senior year in high school, having uh, forsaken the high school wrestling team where he ha had lettered as a sophomore. 
He was not known to have uh, any girlfriends except for a brief affair he had with a Chinese-American, Francis Wu, uh, from Seattle, who was majoring in political science at WSU. The two met at a frat party he did, uh, hosted rather, by one of his uh, acquaintances at the gym, Fred Chastain. During the, his four years at Washington State University, he acquitted himself with academic distinction in uh, the Department of Engineering, where he specialized in both civil and industrial engineering. Here, Kendrick set the report down on the table and rose and poured himself a drink and turned on his portable AM FM radio, which he always took along with him while he was stationed at any uh, construction project. He paced back and forth thinking, God damn, if I, the FBI knows everything, there's the know about me, fuck! Uh, soon, however, he returned to the table where the report lay and began reading once more. The prior criminal activity the prior criminal activity of these four is listed in an appendix to this report. The uh, salient uh, facts of Resnick's life we summarize in the following. Bradley Resnick was born in East San Mateo County. His parents moved to Los Angeles when he was four years old, when his father earned his living as an automobile mechanic and his wife as a waitress who worked the night shift. <coughs> so in other words, these were working class people. Okay then, uh, with the night shift. Uh, Resnick's parents divorced when the boy was close to his 10th birthday. When he was uh, 12, the boy was arrested for shoplifting. He was uh, ticketed three times for speeding, uh, graduated from high school with a C average. His highest grades derived from the courses he took in auto mechanics and metal shop. After high school graduation, he enlisted in the army and uh, specialized in road construction and logistics. He spent two full years in Iraq and was honorably discharged. Resnick has worked as a number of very, in a number of various occupations, auto mechanic, long whole truck driver, oil rig worker, and is currently employed as one of the fleet mechanics for Hertz Car Rental Company. Bradley Resnick's political views were formed while growing up as his father was a member of the John Birch Society and according to his ex-wife, who suffered him to listen to his railings against the government, against blacks, against Jews, against President Kennedy, the young Resnick absorbed the views and sentiments of his father. From the nearly thousand hours of audio surveillance our profiling team has produced, a personality assessment of Resnick, which immediately follows. Bradley Resnick has been judged to have uh, borderline sociopathic tendencies which are deeply ingrained. He is a classic homophobe who despises homosexuals while harboring deep misgivings about his own manhood in the sexual sense. Resnick has lived with two different women, but he is now currently single and devotes all his leisure time to the sovereign citizen group, which 